What does Major League Baseball hope to accomplish in the next 72 hours? Well, we're trying to highlight uh, what we consider to be the greatest game around the world. And to do that, you need to play in the center of the universe. So that, of course, is London. And uh, it's a privilege to be here. Uh, credit to Major League Baseball, Commissioner Rob Manfred and his team for making this happen. It'll be a very special weekend. You bring over the Yankees. You bring over the Red Sox with all the distractions of London, including a cricket match, which I don't understand. Sam, <laughs> they don't understand what you're doing. They don't understand that center field is 385 feet away and the Yankees have hit a few home runs in the last number of games. How do you teach <laughs> the British the magical game? Well, when you see the game up close in person, you realize the skill level and exactly what goes on. But it does take some time to understand the finer points of baseball, as it does cricket. Oh, really? But the world is getting, but the world is getting smaller, and through technology, we're able to connect fans to our game. And we've fallen in love with English football, for example, over in New England. We're all great Liverpool fans because of Tom Werner and John Henry. So uh, the world gets smaller and smaller as technology brings uh, sports to our global fan bases and. And that's the reason why we're here is to bring baseball uh, a little bit closer to our fans across the world. But is it for Americans or, you know, there are very few European born players yeah. in, in your sport. There's no pro league here. So are you trying to change that we, or, or is it just kind of, you know, touring? Yeah, on our rosters, we have players from all over the world and uh, specifically throughout Latin America. So we're hopeful that through participation, more young uh, boys and young girls will be playing baseball and uh, ultimately make it to the major leagues. So it's a huge investment to bring the sport here and, and get it uh, in front of a more global audience. But how big are you doing this every year? Can it really become are, are you going to actually make revenue in the next four to five years in Europe? Yeah, I think we will uh, continue to come back. We'll be here next year with the Cubs and Cardinals and Major League Baseball has decided affirmatively to, that to grow the game, we need to grow to a global audience and, and play in venues uh, like London and, and in a, a more uh, global fashion. So it's really, really exciting for the game. Sam Kennedy for American audience. All all of us have been taken by the serious injuries of your star, David Ortiz. Can you give us an update on Mr. Ortiz's condition? Yeah, I appreciate you asking. David uh, is uh, is uh, stable. He's um, recovering from a horrific uh, gunshot wound uh, in the Dominican Republic a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. All of our uh, thoughts and prayers are with him. He, he hopes, looks like he will make a full recovery, but very serious injuries right. and uh, just a reminder of how fragile life really is. Sam, I got to get out front tomorrow and Sunday. You're sitting next to the Duke of Sussex. And he turns to you and goes, why did the right fielder not throw it directly to third base? He says, why did he go to the cutoff man? What do you <laughs> say to the Duke of Sussex? Well, you tell him you always hit the cutoff, man, always, to follow your coach. You know, there, there's certain finer points of this sport that uh, you just oh. have to learn as a youngster. Don't lecture there, Sam. Don't give the Duke of Sussex a lecture. Just <laughs> smile. 